Hello everyone, welcome back to the Key Productive YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to do a bit of a deep dive into pitch, sharing a little bit more about how to use it. One of the team was able to reach out and show me through the application, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, I've got a bit of a better knowledge about how to use it. So hopefully I can share that with you folks today. Before we begin, today's video is sponsored by Superhuman. If you want super fast email, check the link in the description. You can skip the queue. Here's a little bit more about them. Today's video is sponsored by Superhuman. Superhuman is regarded as the fastest email experience ever made. Their users get through their inbox twice as fast as before, with many seeing inbox zero for the first time in years. Curious how it works? Well, there's three parts to it. First, Superhuman delivers fast speed in-app with super speedy interactions, allowing blazingly fast startup, search, and sending mail speeds. Second, by introducing workflows. With carefully crafted snippets and keyboard commands, you can power through email at rapid rates, unknown in current email software. And third, some of the most powerful email triage out there. With split inboxes, email becomes easier to manage with more urgent emails front and center and no email overflow, all personalized to your needs. Superhuman is currently invite only right now with hundreds of thousands of people on the list. We've got a special link below. Head to superhuman.com slash keep productive and learn more there. Thank you to the folks at Superhuman for sponsoring Keep Productive this month. Okie dokie, as you can see here, this is the Pitch Mac application. It works on web and Windows as well with an iOS application on the horizon. And as you can see here, um, you can create a new workspace for different um, teams you may be working with, um, but this is the dashboard. You can create presentations from here and you can start folders. You can also uh, see the ones that have been shared with you and also any workspace folders, maybe per department for you and your team. Now, this is primarily a team focused presentation tool. However, I do see a lot of individuals using it, seeing as it's probably a little bit sort of more interactive, more playful, easier to create presentations than say, Google Slides. Um, so as you can imagine, um, something that's been uh, very interesting to a lot of folk. Now the templates are pretty decent. Um, obviously this has been around for more than a year, so they've probably perfected this a lot more than just say having this on launch. So these are ones that other people have created, but they're really attractive. You can preview them here if you want to, um, sort of like as if you um, were sort of delving into um, before you sort of start out with a Notion template, for example. But in this case, I'm gonna start with the light one. Um, the reason is just so that I can demonstrate some of the basic features. When you start a presentation, um, I was actually, it was pretty impressed with this ability. So obviously it's blank on this page, but if you maximize, you can either add all 29 slides as a demonstration, or you can add individual ones. So for example, if I was like, okay, um, let's start out with uh, this one as the start of the presentation and then, you know, make a point about this one. We'll talk about keep productive in this case and maybe a timeline. So you're able to sort of cherry pick which ones you like. Uh, I really like that. And if you wanted to pop back, you didn't necessarily have to leave, go back in, um, which I can imagine for a lot of people, it's a little bit painful to do. Um, and as you can see that you're sort of getting started already, which is good, you can sort of fill in the blanks. Now, obviously for individuals using it, um, you could create something for yourself, but um, there's one feature that a lot of people um, are sort of looking at a very attractive, uh, pictures looking very attractive for. So if you and your team uh, work to, want to work together on a PowerPoint in live, this is a beta feature. You can go to the live button, connect to your camera. So in this case, um, we might go here, hello. Um, and uh, I can connect my headphones and I could start and a bubble would appear for me. Uh, and as you can see here, as I'm moving my mouse around, I appear on the screen, which is pretty cool. Um, this can happen with multiple people, which is nice. So they'll obviously indicate how many people are here. You can shut off the camera if you want. You can pause the microphone, but it's nice to be able to have that sort of level of interactivity as you're working on a presentation. Now, this isn't the only sort of workflow features per se. Uh, there are ones here um, when it comes to the workflow. So for example, like traditionally when you're setting up slides, maybe you're working on your own or with a team, you maybe assign them 
So you can first of all assign people uh, a specific slide, and as you can see on the top left, I like this sort of me following it around. Um, you can see naturally the assigned person. So if you've got lots of people, and you can assign like this needs to be done. Uh, you can go to the next one. You can go actually this is in progress because I'm doing it now. And finally, you could be like, oh, this looks perfect. It's going to be done. So you can sort of give statuses to the, the different um, stages that you're in, which is quite nice. Um, I quite like this. And also commenting abilities, very nice. And the one thing I think sort of stands out in this tool is that uh, Google Slides is relatively attractive, um, but this is really clean because everything's tucked away up here in terms of the multimedia. We'll come to that. The left-hand side, really neat, and the bottom, again, neat. Um, it pops open when you need it. Um, you can add reactions whilst you're in a sort of conversation as well. So you can be like, oh, I love this page. This is stunning. <laughs> and you can change your reaction based on the updates. And you can even leave presentation notes um, that are really subtle. So that's the live abilities. You can leave um, very much like a Zoom conversation or Zoom chat. So I'm not sure what to start with next, but what I'm going to do is demonstrate some of the design abilities. So I went ahead and created what's called a workspace style, uh, and I was pretty impressed with this when they showed me. So basically you can create a new style and this page pops out. So every time you do a presentation, if you wanted to set a style for your brand, your company, then you can basically save all the time doing it 100 times. So you could even send an invite to your design team to do all the legwork. But you can add in, uh, you can upload your own fonts, you can upload the exact hex codes to this so that, that it fits in. I tried to get as close as key productive as possible, but you can literally change everything to the charts and the font in the charts. Very interesting. So I made a quick one uh, when I was on here and uh, I actually did a very uh, good demonstration of it. So obviously that's the design. You can... Um, Obviously, when you go out of this and you go into a new presentation, that will appear as an, an option. So you can go ahead and duplicate it. You can go ahead and make as many presentation styles as you like. But that's something I really liked because if I were to go on this page and be like, right, I want this brand style, then I could do that uh, pretty easily. And uh, that's something that you don't... Well, it is available through some stuff, but what I quite like about it is how fast it, um, it did it. So that's the design aspect of it. There's more obviously tucked away in that, but probably best talked about in a deeper dive or in a deeper section. You can add text up here, um, very similar to how you would add text on any editing tool or any um, filing tool. You've got Unsplash, Giphy and Icon 8. And I find that really great because um, what's particularly useful is when you're doing funny presentations, you want to add a GIF um, of something, then you can quickly add it there. You can even add icons as well, which I really like. Um, so for example, if you want to give a sort of update about something, um, you could even modify it in much more detail, like adding and changing the blurs, the rounded corners, etc., much like you would with annotation um, and editing in Canva. So up here, you can get some really basic sort of um, essential sort of lines and buttons and things like that. You can see here, there's a few uh, sort of uh, stickers that you can um, jump in and um, stick in, which is quite nice. So there's some really cool little sort of animations. You can add images as well. So for example, if I wanted to drag an image in, I could do... So if I wanted to drag the company logo in, I could move this to the center. Let's get it perfect. Right, decent. And you can also add in charts if you want to. So you can import that through Google Sheets or Google Analytics, which is quite cool. So once you connect the Google Analytics account, that means you could, for example, bring in a, a live chart from one of your next meetings. You could create a line graph as well. I thought the line graph was really easy to create. You can import from a CSV or a Google Sheet as well. You can also insert table, much like you would in other applications, up to 10 points, and also paste in a YouTube video, a Vimeo, or a Loom presentation. So when it comes to the quick access side of stuff, you press Command K. Um, this is sort of like superhuman, a bit like um, other apps, they're like use keyboard commands. You can see here that you can do quick things like assign to, set slide status, add a background, open a certain presentation, add a shape, and once you learn all of them, you can quickly get access to them there. 
You can also share a presentation as well. So you can copy access to one and invite other people to it. And embeddability and public access, embeddability is an upgrade feature. I'll talk about the pricing in a bit. So up here, you can actually present it and view the overall presentation. And as you can see down here, you can modify all of the template stuff quite easily. So I showed you around pretty much so I showed you around pretty much everything. Um, as you can imagine, it's much more designed towards teams, but a really attractive application at that. Um, I think I showed you around most of it, but here's more about the pricing. So it, in the UK at least is eight pound per user per month, and that's the yearly pricing with 20% off. And that gives you um, some bonus access to, for example, workplace roles, live video collaboration, which I showed you, unbranded beta exports, and also unlimited file upload and a few more things there. Um, so that's, um, I guess, uh, like, I guess if you're doing pretty regular presentations as a team, it's something that's uh, pretty decent in terms of pricing. And also if you're a starter, you pretty much just get unlimited presentations, users guests, and also custom templates, as well as the live video collaboration. But I can imagine they'll probably uh, remove that from the starter plan just because um, it is much more of a sort of pro experience using that. So one of the things I was pretty impressed with, over the last year that they've been out in sort of private beta, they've actually updated a lot of stuff inside of the experience. So it looks like they almost update everything at least every two weeks pretty consistently. Uh, obviously, they were probably designing from scratch, you know, like the whole development stage, but at least they were getting updates out pretty regularly. And obviously, if you don't know, the company behind it is uh, Christian Reber, who started it, um, is uh, the Wunderlist founder. So at least you know that his uh, sort of quality and focus on design will be present here. So folks, that was Pitch. As I said, I'm pretty impressed with it as a presentation application. Seems like a really good option. I'm probably going to be using this as my go-to one for presentations here on Keep Productive if I do, say, a demonstration or a talk. Uh, a live stream, things like that, because I think it's pretty easy to use and I like the way that you can collaborate on it. I probably won't use it in a team aspect, but it's definitely gained my attention as probably my go-to presentation tool. So before I go, folks, I just want to say a big thank you to Verena from Pitch, who showed me around. She took uh, a bit of a time out, which I appreciate, to guide me around this application and help me understand it a bit further. And obviously, when I reach out to teams to get a bit more assistance, that was really helpful. So thank you. So folks, thank you very much. Please do make sure to subscribe, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.